these days yeah. catch your people attention. Uh-huh. Testimony after testimony, this is for real. Videos are doing numbers, call it mass appeal. Uh-huh. You can like and invite uh-huh. and share if you like. Uh-huh. Got a question, please ask. Pastor Rob gets hype. Uh-huh. All aboard, uh-huh. we moving. Let's take on stop. Uh-huh. All aboard, show up and you just get in the box. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Free our souls, free our minds, heart and demons. Uh-huh. While they lurking in the night, plotting scheming. Torturing our lives, pastors preaching. Deliverance on the rise, giving the truth a rise. Freedom from every lie, salvation from every cry. This thing must comply. The name of Jesus is high. Come on in, everybody. It's Warfare Wednesday. Everybody, come on, share, like, and invite. Welcome to Warfare Wednesday. Let's get these numbers up, y'all. Come on, everybody. Let's get the numbers up. It's only popping tonight. Everybody, share, like, and invite. Lamar Fleming, y'all. Just a little bit of visuals.
Good evening, everybody. It's Warfare Wednesday time. Let's get this party started. Deacon Jamal is in the house tonight. What's up, Pastor Rob? What's going on, my man? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You Hello. know what time it is, Deacon, and um, we, we don't have a lot of time, and we've got a lot to cover in a short time. And yeah. I'm going to be totally honest. Uh, I'm going to be totally honest and just make it clear that the numbers are extremely too low to even begin. Hello. I, I, I thought I thought by now y'all would have missed us. I, I, I missed y'all. They ain't showing it too much. Deacon, I'm going to take a moment. I'm going to take a moment to check our notifications. If you have not donated and you would like us to recognize your donations, hopefully Brother Austin will send them to me shortly. Um, you can do so at PastorRob.us. Tonight, it will be worth it. I am not wasting your time tonight. It's on and popping. All of you, listen, you need to tag all of your NFL friends, tag all of your uh, uh, R&B buddies, your, uh, all the folks that love Empire. Um, everybody is into politics. Everybody that's into anything that can be shown in the mainstream media, we're going to go all over the place tonight. This will be a classic, I promise you, with the help of God. Deacon Jamal and myself and the Warfare family is getting ready to bring that fire. I'm asking, what, what, what? No, I'm laughing at, I'm laughing at old King, man. King said Deacon Jamal got a salad. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I ain't even noticed this shirt. Hold on, hold on. Well, get back so we can see the shirt, dude. Ah! Come on, y'all. Give, give Deacon Jamal. And the, and the head is fire, by the way. Let me just tell you that. But listen, okay. everybody, listen. Real, real quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to get these announcements. I'm going to recognize some people. So those who are speaking, I'll be... Literally take who you know, that dude that calls me every time on Messenger, I could block him. Go ahead and do it. He was he, he messing us up. Now, I, I don't think he mean no harm, but he's determined to get my attention at the wrong time. At the wrong time. Yeah, man. That's all I need is somebody to try to get me booted out of here. That's the next time. <laughs> the next time that happens, well. I'm gonna block him like a like a, uh, a pesky baby baby mother. That's right. That's it. I'm getting him out of here. I'm getting him out of here, ladies and gentlemen. I want y'all to hear this tonight. Everybody, share, like, and invite Deacon Jamal. I'm gonna take about a few minutes. I'm gonna leave Warfare family in your hands. I'm gonna check the notifications. Go to PastorRob.us and donate. Share. Listen, we need to share us through the roof tonight. Um, Deacon, one more thing before I, I get off this microphone for about three minutes. Please encourage everybody that once they have shared to let us know they have shared. We want to recognize those that are not too lazy to push a button or throw a watch party. But whatever you do, let's do it now because this will be epic. So I'll be back. Deacon Jamal, just greet everybody and I'll be back in just a moment. Thank you so much, sir. Hey, no doubt, no doubt. What's going on, Warfare Wednesday family? <laughs> Brother King, I see Brother King, Brother Eric got some jokes today. <laughs> it's all good, though. Uh, yeah. And look, if, if y'all really knew, really knew how I be when, when I be up in here, I don't really be all that fresh when I come in here. That's just a tea and a hat. But that's a secret, though. Y'all ain't supposed to really know that. <laughs> What's going on, people? Connie Jones says, hello, family. Brother Eric, thank you for sharing. Cousin Eric, thank you for sharing, sir. Hey, let's get these numbers up. We at number 59. We know we need to get that 80. What's up? What's up, Minister Mile and Minister JT in the building? Love you too, cuz. Love you, brother. Hey, hey, Minister. It's good to see you tonight, sir. What's going on? Thank you, Sister TT Barber, for sharing. It's good to see you tonight. Y'all know we got that fire tonight. Thank you, thank you, Minister JT. You know we got that fire tonight. I saw the flyer. You know, I'm kind of um, on the edge of my seat, just like y'all. Uh, I'll be ready to rock when Pastor Rob's ready to rock to get that same fire that y'all get. But well, we're going to bring it together, though. 
All right, donations has uh, at PastorRob.us. Uh, Sister J.D. Cooper, research lady, good to see you this evening. Good evening, Pastor and Deacon. It's a wonder to see you tonight. Uh, let me see who we got. Chris Dabney, thank you for sharing, brother. Veronica Ayers, thank you for sharing. Sister DeLacy Mallory, thank you for sharing. No doubt, bro. Laughing out loud. Oh, look, you better believe it, man. Hey, look, your time will come. I'm going to get you. Don't worry. It's just once that Wednesday time. I get everybody. But it's a blessing to be here tonight, and it's a blessing to see everybody here tonight. It's been a while. Uh, Mary Day, thank you for sharing. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, we're going to make it hot in a few, but we need to get some more people in here before we start making it hot, yo. Uh, Deacon, Deacon, if you can hear me, let me know when we get to at least 60, because I can't see anything right now. We had 65. Oh, never mind. Let me know when we get to 75. All right. Tristan A. Bur Burrell, thank you for sharing. Oh, hey, Brother Eric, you already turned up with that fire. I see you, brother. I see you. Hey, Mother Mallory, how you doing? Thank you for sharing. Thank you for the flames. You'll see the island. Thank you for sharing. Good evening as well. It's a blessing to see you tonight on Warfare Wednesday. Thank you for tuning in. We had 61. Come on, y'all, and share, like, and invite. Let's get our brothers and sisters in here to hear this, uh, hear this knowledge today. See what's going on out there. You know, some crazy stuff going on. Thank you, Sister Cruz. For dropping that fire, and then she left a little pow at the end of it. So she let that flame go, and she went pow. Mm -hmm. stage, bro. Okay. Johnny James, thank you for the flames, brother. Thank you for tuning in. You're a new name. I haven't seen you before. But thank you for tuning in. We welcome you to Warfare Wednesday. Oh, yeah, it's time to eat. Minutes of Mana, you know what's up, man. It's time to eat, man. Time to eat it up. Pause. Luther Manley, thank you for the flames. Good to see you tonight. Who else is here today? We got a lot of folks missing. Let me see. Belinda Roney just turned in. Hello, hello. You'll see the island is on a tag spree. Oh, snap. What's up? My man, Big Stokes in the building. Hey, Big Stokes, man, I've been seeing you, and I'm coming to see you. I got, I, I see that chicken and cheese steak. So, man, I want that to so save me one of them jokes. Cause I really do, man. Uh, I'm coming to holler at you. Uh, let me see. Who else? Who else? Sheila Gilliam Mitchell, thank you for sharing. Hey, Sister Belinda, how you doing? She said, hello, everyone. Love my brother. Uh, Eric says, love my warfare family. Let's get this knowledge. Yeah, let's do it. What's up, Pop? I see my dad in the building. He's dropping flames in the bar, so that means you must be on your phone. Dallas Harris, shared. Good evening, Pastor Robert Deacon from Brother Winston. Duncan, what's up, man? Oh, Johnny Jane, I don't know, man. I'm sorry, man. It's been a while. But I'm glad you're in the building tonight. Uh, let me see. Who else? Deshante Daniels. Let me see. Who else? Little Roney dropping the fire. Uh, we have 71, Pastor Rob. 72. We're still, no. we, we, we coming up short. Let's rock and roll. What's going on? Sister Cousin Star Foster tuned in with the fire. She said, let's get it. We're going to get it because we got it. And we got a good, hey, Big Stokes, I'm coming to support, bro. Thank you, man. Number love for you, brother. Barbara Wood says good evening, and she's ready to learn something new. Oh, you know it. I'm going to get my process. If she's the Allen tonight, she's on a on a tagging spree. Oh, okay, Pop. Okay, okay. Steph Kizzy in the building. What's happening? What's happening, Steph Kizzy? Well, she said, we're a church family. She said, hey, y'all. Love y'all. We love you, too. Crystal clear with all the flames. She put all the hot, all the flame in the air today. Um, Sister Marquita says, uh, Marquita Murphy says, uh, what am I drinking? I don't know. I got somebody, I got somebody to get these cats to cut, cut a check. This ain't, this ain't Fiji, but this something else. I'm about to cut everybody because we're coming out with our own. You better believe it. Can this get posted on YouTube? Ah. Uh, I'm not sure, but we'll talk to the. I'm not sure if this goes on YouTube or not. Does it go on YouTube, Pastor Rob? I sometimes Austin used to. Well, he used to put them on there, and I, I have no idea. Check with Austin Wright. Luda Manley says, "What's up? Good evening, Pastor Rob. You can tomorrow and rest of the warfare family." Yes, Pastor, sir. Hello, hello. Uh, hey, what's up, bro? What's up, brother Lee? He said, "Hello, everyone, Pastor Jamal." Two uh, more minutes. Two more minutes, y'all. Everybody share, like, and invite. Two more minutes. Everybody, let's flood the timelines. Two more minutes. 
Let me see. We at number 80. We at 86. Come on, y'all. We get the numbers up. We can do better than that. We ought to be at 100 right now. Yeah, people be waiting. They be trying to hold out till we get started, but I'm going to be dropping clues all night long. I'm not going to just have a particular time that I talk sport because I know how y'all get. Y'all try to creep on and creep off. No. Y'all going to pull this one. Y'all going to have to pull through with us on this one. You better believe it, man. Y'all got to stick it out. Paul, if we got to do it. Paul. Um, <laughs> you see the album on a terrible tag is free, boy. She's letting everybody know it's warfare Wednesday tonight. Deshante Daniels got to go back to work. Sorry, I can't stay. All right, we'll check the replay. Good to have you tonight. Thank you for checking in. How can God you bless. how can you tell how can you tell she's tagging? I can't see what's going on. How can you tell she's tagging? Because all I can see is names in her comments. Hey, uh, do me a favor. If she can hear me, well, I know she can hear me. Sister Yoshida, do you have a cash app? And she's probably about put about 25 names in here tonight. Let me know what she says if she has a cash app. You got a cash app, sir? Hey, I ain't asking for no I ain't asking for nothing. Michael Neville in his joint. What's up, bro? Good to see you, Michael Neville. Long time no see. Pastor Green in the building. How you doing, Pastor Green? She said, yeah, she got one. Tell her to Tell her to leave me her cash app. I'm going to bless her with a small blessing tonight. It's just on my heart to send her 20. I'm going to just send her $20 tonight from my cash app to hers. I got to remember how to use it. But I'm going to send her $20 to her cash app. She thought enough to make sure everybody gets this information. And it's on my heart to bless her with $20 tonight. Yoshida Allen, thank you for being obedient. Thank you for sharing this good news, for not being lazy and selfish. We want to say thank you so thank you. much. Thank you, sir. So if yes. you don't want to do it here, Sister Yoshida, you can send it to my inbox. I'm going to be a blessing to you. No strings attached. I just kept hearing Deacon Jamal say over and over. You want to tag us, free? Yeah, and shout out to Pastor Green. Uh, yeah. and the anointed worship center, which is her pastor. Shout out to him. Hey, God bless you, Pastor. I think he's in here. Thank you for tuning in, Pastor. Yeah, uh, let me see. All right, we're going to get this thing going this tonight. Always oh, showing love. You right, Brother Eric? This is, uh, this is J.D. Cooper says, hey, amen. Who else in here? I, I missed the comments just now. Hey, Dominique Cooper, she's out here and ready. What's going on? Yeah. Sister Yoshida, I don't know if you could use it, but I've never done that before. But people have been a blessing to me, and I'm going to give, start giving back. I'm going to be watching all over the timelines tomorrow. I'm going to be watching who shares, who talks about warfare. I'm going to be watching, and then every week, I'm going to make it my business to do something for somebody. If, yeah. if I'm being blessed, if somebody blesses me, I'm going to be a blessing. That's right. That's right. That's right. Give it up for Warfare Wednesday, y'all. See, you back, y'all. You never know what you're going to see when you come back. You never know what you're going to get. You never know how you're going to get blessed. Pretty soon, we're going to have hats, shirts, and all kind of things to bless people with. And I'm, yeah. I'm excited about that, too. But, uh, Deacon Jamal, how, you, how are you tonight, sir? Hey, I'm doing well, man. I'm doing well. The booth over here is cleaned up, ready to roll. Yes, sir. What's up, Sean? Got it. We got a lot to cover. A lot to cover. Can somebody please, um, Austin, if you can, remind me I owe Sister Yoshida $20. Even if tonight gets by me, I can give it to her tomorrow, send it to her. Remind me, please. I do not want to make a promise and then don't follow through. Somebody remind me. Please. Amen. All right. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to everybody. Now, Deacon Jamal, we've got a lot to cover, and we don't have a lot of time to go back and do a lot of explaining. So what I want to say to everybody, well, let's do the donations real quick. Let's do the donations. Austin, Brother Austin, thank you for your engineering and your willingness to send me over what I need to see. I want to recognize the, the above people. 
as they're being sent to me. Uh, let me see here. Big, big shout out to Brother Dallas Harris. We want to thank you. Sister Tanisha Howie, we want to thank God for you and your you. donation. You took time to bless us. Brother Sanchez Ross, want to thank God for your donation. And by the way, it's just on my heart to be a blessing. Brother Sanchez, it's very cold outside. In case y'all didn't know, this is a night that you want to make sure your heat, your, yeah. your, your coolant, your heating equipment is operating at maximum, um, at a maximum level. And Brother Sanchez Ross, if y'all can just see his name, he, uh, if he's in here, say something, Brother Sanchez. He will come and fix. He will come and fix your AC and heat, your HVAC needs. So he blessed us, and I want to give a big shout out to him. Shout out to Sanchez Ross. Um, shout out to your pops here. It says Brother Carlton Ross. That's Deacon Jamal's father, who is a faithful supporter and the father of Deacon Jamal. There would be no Deacon Jamal. Without his well, assistance. Yes, sir. Love you, Dad. And last, well, well, we got a few more. Sister J.D. Cooper, our longest of all time uh, <clears throat> supporters, ever since we were on the radio, before there was ever a, a Facebook Live or anything, Sister J.D. Cooper, our research lady, who not only gives us information and research, but she's also blessed us with her substance. And we so we love her. Everybody loves her here. We're grateful. Uh, Brother Dominique Smith, I want to thank you for your contribution. You didn't have to. Sister, Sister Stephanie Kizzy, one of our own members. Thank God for Sister Steph Kizzy. Shout out to you and your family. We want to thank God for your contribution and taking the time. Sister Pat Fisher, longtime warfare supporter. Thank God for you tonight. We really appreciate you tonight. Um, and, I, and I hope I got this right here. I hope I haven't left anyone out. But if you still want to donate during the program, Brother Austin will get the notification and send it to me. Okay? In case anybody wants to know what happens with the money and all those type of things? Even the money doesn't come straight to me only. It, several people can see what comes in, even to me, donating. And okay. that's why, and, and believe me, you know, I got a white man checking after me. Shout out to Brother Austin. Uh, the white man is keeping me in check. Um, so shout out to him and um, for sending it, it over as well as some of the others. So, I'm so grateful to everybody. Deacon Jamal, again, thank you for everything. Hey, um, we're going to get moving tonight. Shout out to Brother Wayman Sanders. We've got a new guy, a new uh, new viewer. Yes, sir. Shout out now, to you, for those that have been watching us, you need to, for those who, have, who are probably new to our work, we won't have time to prep you with all of the uh, uh, the trimmings and the trappings and all of that. We've kind of got to get to work because we have a little bit of time. Um, what this portion tonight will be about is, is about what's going on in your mainstream media, okay? Right. What we have done, for those that don't know, is we have discovered different or should I say discovered a diversity of codes that are used by the powers that be to control, to program, um, and to manipulate the masses. That's you and me. That's us. That's the public. That's the people. Now, the powers that be, whether it be the Freemasons, okay, and I'm not talking about your granddaddy or your uncle that's a Freemason. I'm talking about Freemasonry at its highest level, uh, grouped together with tyrant bankers, private bankers, gangsters, mob mobsters. Listen to me good. I want y'all to hear me. And the so-called, or should I say the fake Jews um, that run this world, that control banking, that control television, radio, internet, and every media outlet known to man. What I want y'all to know is that we have begun to dis to uh, uncover what they are up to. It is a nasty game being played on a daily basis. 
everything, right. almost everything you're seeing in your news is either contrived, it's fake, it's a hoax, a hoax, it's a false flag, or it's in fact predictive programming. I am telling you tonight, I'm just laying down a few things because we got a lot to cover. I am telling you tonight, I want y'all to get this, that most of what you have learned in your American and even world history is in fact, is in fact not real. That's right. Your news, the news that they break, watch this, the news that they break and they call breaking news to you on your mainstream media outlets. You know who they are. Uh, fake news, period. Now, there are a number of Masonic secret codes and symbolisms that we uncover, okay? We, we have already taught the basis of uh, Freemasonry uh, free and its symbols, Freemasonry and its numbers. Everything in this world is done on a, watch this, done by and through the use of numbers, okay? Once you learn these codes, along with many other things like words uh, and numbers and, and symbols and things of that nature, you will be able to decode what is real and what in fact is not. Now, I often do this, Deacon. Everybody should know this by now. I know it's kind of repetition, but I want to loosen everybody up because we've been gone and we got some new folks watching. In other words, everything that's done in your mainstream media, almost everything that makes national or worldwide attention is in fact contrived. It is in, in fact uh, programming. That's what it is. That's why it's called television because mm -hmm. it's telling lies to your vision. It's propaganda. It's manipulative. It is, well, listen to me, it is terrorism at its finest. Now, most of the events that you know about did not happen the way you think. 9-11 did not happen the way you think. Um, and we could go on and on and on with many events, everything going back to the Boston bombing, to even the, uh, the, 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 the space shuttles that supposedly exploded or crashed, and even the man landing on the moon, they lied to you. When they told you about the civil rights movement, they lied to you. When they told you that Martin Luther King was a man that was sent, listen to me good, named Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, they lied to you. That wasn't his name, and that was not his initial aim. Almost everything you know is contrived. It is fake. So I got to just lay this down tonight. Now, Amongst these symbols that we've talked about, you got to go back and watch our old videos. There are also, there is also a uh, practice, and this practice is known as gematria. Gematria is the practice of coding numbers into letters, words, and phrases. Okay, I'm going to say that again. Gematria is the practice into watch this is the practice which is coding numbers into letters, words, and phrases. When you learn these gematria or numeric ciphers, when you learn how this works, you will be able to tell what is in your mainstream media to mislead you or uh, to deceive you, okay? So one thing I wanna add is that people are killed according to these numbers. And I'm going to get you that in a minute. Now, for those that don't know what I'm talking about, all my warfare veterans, if y'all know we're about to bring that fire, and y'all know that we have proved that we really have fought, watch this, we really have foretold, we really have shown and predicted major events, everything from terrorist attacks to weather, to, dis to weather-based disasters, uh, to, uh, to what they call natural disasters, um, to the outcome of major sporting events, we have done it all right here on Warfare Wednesday. If you know that's true, everybody light up some flames and let the new folks know they shouldn't go anywhere because in a minute, we're going to get this party started right. I got to drink a sip of water after that. <laughs> yeah, you did got to go in on that one. 
Because I'm trying to get all of that out of the way so people won't look at us like we're crazy. All right? Now, so Deacon Jamal, I, for those that don't know, I, all, I often use the simplest example of how people are murdered, okay? Freemasonry, yeah. as we know it, which of course um, works hand in hand with those who we call our Jew, watch this, our Jew, and I have to be careful what I say, our Jewish friends. And by the way, real Jews are not Jerry Springer, Rothschild, uh, people like that, you know, our, our friends that we associate with the banks and those that run business in our world. That's, they're, they're not the real Jews. The real Jews are, in fact, we know who they were. We know who they are. And those who are our imposters are called Jewish. They're called Jewish because they're not real Jews. They're kind of like a Jew. Now, uh, Deacon, we use the example. Okay, everybody love Prince. Let's just give him a quick warm up. And I know y'all should know it by now. Everybody remember the artist known as Prince. Okay, or formerly known as Prince and later became known as that symbol or the artist. Okay, now for those that don't know, Freemasonry uses a number system. And in this number system, certain numbers point towards or has certain meanings. The number 47 is the number of Masonic degrees, okay? The number 47 is the number of Masonic degrees. You know that symbol that the Masons use? It looks like a diamond with the G in it. That symbol that the Masons use is 23.5 each, watch this, each angle or on each leg. 23.5 times 2 is where you get your, watch this, 47 degrees. Whenever you see the number 47, whenever you see the number 47 in your news, in your news reports, in movies, in sporting events, you should begin to pay attention. Now, there's another number that's very known in Freemasonry called the number 33. We're going to get to the news, y'all. We're going to get to the news. Just hang in there with me. 33 is a number of Masonic obsession. Whenever you see 33, this is the number that Masons are obsessed with. And they show their obsession by repeatedly uh, scripting the number 33 into events. Now, there are other numbers that we're going to talk about tonight, like 42, 59, uh, which represent things that are done specifically to black people. Now, let me clear this up. You might think this is a joke, but I'm going to show it to you in a minute, okay? Black people are often shamed, and I'm going to come back here, because remember, the fake Jews who use this system have a deep resentment towards people of color because people of color represent the real Jews, okay? And whenever you see the numbers 42, 59, and even 60, it's normally dealing with shaming us in the news. And I'm going to get to that tonight. By the way, just in case y'all wondering what y'all done got yourself into, just keep it locked. Because we're going to deal with this tonight, Deacon. Let me tell you what we're going to deal with. We're going to deal with everybody that's been inboxing me about the guy from Empire, the actor better known as Jesse Smollett. Smollett? Yeah, Smollett. Um, I forget his name on Empire. Jamal. Yeah, Jamal. No point intended. No, Jamal. Um, we're gonna get to. We're gonna. We're gonna show you what really happened. The news has reported that he was beat up, had his ribs broken. We're gonna get to all of that. Um, Deacon Jamal, do me one favor. Yes, Wipe your lens in a minute, because to me it's like I don't know if some got a little bit. Of, Got on it a little bit. Wipe it. Can you wipe it? Hold on. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. All right. Now, I think it's good. Yes. So now watch this, y'all. This is what I want you to understand. We're going to show you what's really happening with Jesse, not Jesse, Jesse Smullen. We're going to cover that in a minute, okay? We also are going to, tonight, we're going to tell, we're going to show you throughout the night who to expect 
or who we expect to be the winner of the Super Bowl. Okay? We're going to show you how it's already pre-planned. All professional sports are rigged, are fake, are not, listen to me, are not competitive athletic events. They are, in fact, um, narrative, watch this, uh, narratives based on what is going on in politics in the actual world around it. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, hang in there. Uh, also, we have the death of James Ingram. Yeah. We're going to cover that in a few minutes. Uh, R&B, Grammy Award winning, James Ingram. You know anything about him, Deacon? Absolutely. We're going to cover him because he died in a yeah. moment. Also, we're going to deal with the death of the creator of Little Rail. There's a show called Little Rail. You ever heard of Little Rail? Mm -hmm. You know the guy, um, the guy that played on Get Out, Little Rail, the yeah. comedian. Yeah. He got his own show. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. And we're gonna deal with that. Um, yeah, yeah. Also, we're gonna cover. Man, we got a lot to cover. I'm just thinking about what else I know we got. We got time to deal with tonight. Uh. President Trump deciding that he would have the State of the Union address. We're going to tell you why it was picked on which day. Let me see. What am I missing? What am I missing? That ought to keep us busy for a while. So you should not go anywhere. Everybody should share, like, and invite. Okay? Now, let's show them how this system works, Deacon, and how people are even murdered by this system. How they take out celebrities. By the way, Deacon, this year we have had a great, well, even leaving last year, 2018, yeah. we predicted the death and burial of Aretha Franklin mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to the date. Um, several other major events. As a matter of fact, I'm going to talk about it in a minute, Deacon, because we did call the pick three almost two or three weeks straight based on our numbers. Yeah, yeah. And you can go on my Facebook page to search any of these things that I'm saying. But tonight, I'm going to show you how this system works. So let me give them a quick, a, a quick, uh, a quick example, and show you how they um, contrive this news on a daily basis. Okay, the artist Prince. Everybody know Prince. Prince came out with an album. Everybody knows his most famous album uh, was, of course, Purple. Rain. Everybody remember Purple Rain. On yep. the album Purple Rain, which of course uh, was written and came out between 1983 and 1984, okay, from the time it was produced and released, uh, there was a song on the album called I Would Die For You. I'm just giving y'all an example. So if you're right. new, please pay attention. Prince came out a song came out with a song called I Would Die For You. Now, because Prince was under the powers, under the uh, 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 the dictatorship of the Jewish, watch this, of the Jewish tyrants that run the music industry, okay? The sex craze evil tyrants that run the music industry. I want y'all to get this. Prince uh or the artist formerly known as Prince, put out an album 33 years ago. Thir listen to that number. 33 years ago, there's the Masonic number. He put out an album called I Would Die For You. Deacon, do you have any proof of that so they won't think I'm making it up? Now, I Would Die For You, if you notice, it is spelled I Would Die, the number four, and the letter U. The reason they did this, this was done as in fact a free Masonic code, okay? And the letter U, watch this, now let me show you how we go to the calculator and it does the work for us. Everybody watch, this is a quick example so you'll know what you're looking at tonight. I'm gonna show you how they already designed Prince to die. Most of y'all think Prince died by fentanyl or uh, drugs, 
Prince was a man that was known to be a specimen of health. Yeah. He was an overachiever from the aspect of health, um, his physical, uh, medical yeah. history, almost, I mean, almost perfect. And then all of a sudden he comes up missing. And I'm going to show you how and what happened to him. And so here it is. If you look, Deacon, just punch in the letter A. Now, if you punch in the letter A, for some reason, you're, there you go, because your screen is, is clear, but then it goes out and look foggy. So if you punch in the letter A, A comes out here. Watch this. In the English order of the alphabet, number one, because A is the first letter of the alphabet. Okay. B is the second letter of the alphabet. C is the third letter. Now, this is how they they hide the true meanings of what they're showing you in the news, in the in, in the uh, on the internet, on albums, uh, in sports. This is how they hide the truth. Now, watch this, Deacon. In the regular English order, C is three. But if you put it in reverse, then all the numbers, or all the letters rather, are numbered backwards, in reverse. So Z would be the one, Y would be two, X would be three, and of course the letter A would be 26, okay? So I'm gonna show you how this works. Erase that, Deacon. What was Prince album called? I would die for you. Now. The letter, the number four, and the letter U. Punch in the letter U. Okay. As you can see, the number U is, the letter U is number 21. Well, D, that was, that song was made in 1983, 84, and 33 years later, rather, 33 years. Remember that number of Masonic obsession. Whenever you see that number, you see their fingerprint. They're, they're a gang. And they're a gang, um, like any gang, they leave their, their uh, graffiti. They leave their symbolism. They leave their fingerprint where their work has been done. And I'm here to show you that 33 years after he released that song, I Would Die For You, he died on four Letter what U, is, 21, April the 21st, 2016. Okay? I need y'all to pay attention. This is how this works. Now, if you think that's a coincidence, you're crazy. Now, I can show you many other examples. For instance, they created a song for Prince to sing also. Anybody remember that song? Come on, Warfare Veterans. Y'all should be able to tell the story better than I put up another song. Deacon, you, you remember that song? This is what, 319? 319. Mm -hmm. Prince put out a song called 319. Now let me tell you why this is interesting. So, so he's got another song called 319. And let me see if one of my warfare people can tell me why that's significant. I want to see who's been paying attention. Where y'all at? Where you at? Prince... What'd you say, Deacon? No, I was saying, where he at? Where he at? I'm going to show you why. Okay, Sister Thalia Hines, shout out to her. He put out a song called 319. Now watch why, how they decode all these words. Okay? Now, watch this, Deacon. Prince died when he was 57 years old, right? Right. And he put out a song called 319, right? Right. Now punch in these words, Deacon. 319. I'm going to show y'all something. We're going to get to Mr. Smollett. I need y'all to share and get those numbers up to 100, and I'm going to go off up in here. <laughs> I wonder if you, I wonder if there was some significance in what you saying that 
So DMX just got out of jail. <laughs> <laughs> I got to check that out. All right, but watch this. Watch this, y'all. He punched in the words 319, and Prince did a song called 319, right? What number do you see in light blue, Deacon? 5756. Now, how old was Prince when he died? 57. Now, let me tell you why that's important. Because Prince died exactly 319 days after he turned 57. That's crazy. Do you see how we work that? That's not a coincidence, y'all. No. It can't be. So I hope y'all are seeing. Now, new folks, give me some feedback. Let me know if you're loving this. Now, this code works for everything. We have showed um, stories, everything from movies and the box office, you name it. We have shown it um, over the last couple of years. Now, let's get down to business because we're running out of time, y'all. Let's get down to business because we're running out of time. Let me speak to a few people here. Shout out to brother Brian Dyer. What's up, Brian? What's up, Shout bro? out to brother Brian Dyer. Um, brother Minister Friend. Brother King Williams. Brother Marcus Chu. Sister uh, Mela Khan. Hey, sis. Sister Yoshida, you already know. Deacon Shay Brown is in the house. Auntie oh, Linda Scruggs. Shout out to Auntie hey, Linda Mark. Scruggs. Aisha Harris. Hey, Sister Aisha. What's going on? I'm just naming a few people at the end. Shout out to Sister Jessica Burke here. Brother Chris Bell here. Um, Brother Marcio Atkins Jr. What's going on? Sister Rose Tyler, Sister Nicole Jones. Now, we need everybody to take a moment and share right now because we're getting ready to uncover the truth. Go ahead and tag some people now about Mr. Jesse Smullett. Can you, can you get a picture up of Mr. Jesse Smullett? Everybody know who we're talking about? Okay, Brother Sanders, shout out to you. All right, everybody know this young man who plays on the hit show Empire. And in yeah. case people don't know, Empire was the, the show that took the television uh, airwaves, so to speak, by storm a few years ago, Deacon. Yeah. Um, a show that centered around a music producer, um, a great music family a very successful black music family and all of the troubles that come along with um, being musical, rich, wealthy celebrities. Um, you ever seen it, Deacon? I never watched an episode a day in my life. Proud well, I have. I, I stopped, but I did watch the first two seasons easily. No, and during the time that they did, they introduced a lot of different topics, everything from drugs to uh, to, to the war on drugs, to what's going on in the music industry, to, of course, uh, homosexuality. Yeah. Now, I'm going to make this clear tonight. Everybody's talking because this individual, Mr. Jesse Smullett, was in the news. And if you don't mind, Deacon, if you could pull up some type of news report, just something with him showing that he was beat. Let's get some details because I'm going to show you how, in fact, y'all don't have to argue. I see people on Facebook tagging me because people are saying, some ain't right. Some ain't right. You are exactly right. Some ain't right. Something is definitely wrong with this story. And tonight, I'm going to show you that this story is contrived racial programming. Now, yeah. I don't have time tonight to get into how the masses uses stories to race bait and to encourage the race war, okay? But the number one way the government and the powers that be, rather, control all of the people, the masses, is by keeping everybody against each other. And the number one way to do that is through race baiting 
and inciting racial tension, causing a race war. After all, yeah. Deacon, the word race already tells you what's going on. Right. Anytime you're in a race, anytime you're in a race, what are you doing? You're trying to gain an advantage over the next person. Mm -hmm. And the reason they want you to refer to it as a race is because as long as you are in a race, as long as you are in a race, everybody can win. Right. You see that? Yep. And as long yep. as everybody cannot win, everybody will compete to get ahead of the next one, and that's why they call it race. Mm -hmm. Now, the powers that be know this. They already know it. And they use stories like this story and many other stories, uh, even the shootings that you've seen that has desensitized us, that started all the Black Lives Matter. And by the way, if you haven't watched our videos, Black Lives Matter is a group that was started by Jews and white supremacists. Right. Black Lives Matter was funded, rather, by those. It was used, or there were a group of lesbian women that were used as the figurehead, but it was yep. funded, founded, promoted, produced by Jewish money and what some would call white supremacy. Black yep. Lives Matter has nothing to do with helping black people, but I ain't got time to talk about that tonight. Now, let's get to this. Let's get to this. This individual by the name of Jesse Smollett. Smollett. Yeah, Smollett, Smollett, whatever it is. <laughs> I want you to get this. News reports, Deacon, I don't know if you saw anything about this, but the news report said something about he was... Now, I want y'all to get this. I want to tell y'all what they say, and then you tell me what's wrong with it, okay? News reports, Deacon, say, and the numbers should be going up, because I'm getting ready to crack the code. And I'm going to say something ain't nobody else saying on the internet at all. So if I were you, I would share with everybody so they can get this information. Now, the news says that Mr. Jesse Smullett... Uh, Justice Smullen gave a report that some days ago he received some type of art in the mail or something, some art, and it looked like some children coloring. I don't know if you saw that, Deacon. Uh -uh. He saw some children coloring. I mean, some, some children coloring sent him a picture of somebody shooting somebody hanging from a tree. Okay, I want to give you the backstory and how they made this up so people would buy it, but we ain't buying it. We know it's fake. We know it's not real. He said uh, something about some kids or something? Yes, yeah, so somebody sent him what looks like children, cut, like, like a child colored a picture. And it, it, don't worry, because I'm going to give you some more information while you look for that. So now, fast forwarding to our main event. Remember, I told y'all one thing, Deacon. Mm -hmm. All news, all news, especially when it gets around time for big games or big yeah. holidays, all the news connects together, right? That's right. Sister J.D. Cooper said it was letters cut from the magazine. Okay, now watch this, Deacon. I'm going to show you how everybody's getting ready for the what? Super Bowl. And of course, the Super Bowl, okay, I'm going to explain to you how this is part of what they're doing um, as race baiting and predictive programming, uh, all connecting with the Super Bowl and everything that's going on in the news. Now watch this. They say that this guy, Deacon, at 2 o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. at 2 o'clock in the morning, got up and left his hotel in Chicago. Yeah. Now, Deacon, this going to blow your mind. Do you, know what, do you know what the temperature was 
in Chicago that night? It had to be like below below zero or something. It was like 20 or something. Yeah, negative 20. Yeah, it was like negative 20. Negative 20. And the wind chill was worse. Yeah. Now, I need y'all to get this. This celebrity decided to get up. This is the story they're telling you. Now, I, my mind says, think about Chicago and think about this big climate thing we got going on where it's so cold. It's about 10, it's going to be 10 degrees here tonight. Now, in Chicago, watch this, y'all. Shout out to Brother Show. He said, ain't nothing open that late but eggs and legs. <laughs> and Brother Puller, brother, brother Smullen is a puller fighter, so I don't think he was looking for, I don't think he was looking for legs, but let me, let me carry on. Yeah, I don't think he wanted eggs. Maybe sausage. Now, yeah. <laughs> here we go. Two in the morning, negative 20, he decides to go for a walk. To go to the nearest subway. All right? Mm -hmm. On his way, Deacon, and, and I, I'm just giving you the story as I, could, as I, I tried to piece it together. Mm -hmm. On his way going there, he encountered, he encountered from his words, a group of white boys mm -hmm. that were, listen to this now, that were wearing mega hats. Yeah. Make America great again, you know, Donald Trump mega hats. He says they proceeded to say something to the effect of, look at that faggot. Ain't you that, ain't you that faggot nigga from Empire or something? And they watch this, Deacon. Keep in uh, mind now, this is what they want you to believe. It's two in the morning. It's two in the morning, right? Right. It's negative 20. It's negative 20. And he going to get him some sauce, I mean, some subway. He wants and, a shot Yeah, he's going to subway and he just happens, I suppose, to run into a group of white boys wearing mega hats who yell at him derogatory terms, calling him nigga and faggot. And then they proceeded to beat to beat him, to, to uh, assault them, young man. They beat him bad. They beat him so bad, Deacon, they said they broke his ribs. Uh -huh. Now, they also said that the men had ski mask. Yeah. Well, it was negative 20, so that might work. And they put bleach but on it. Here go the part I had to look at and just say to myself, something ain't right. It's two in the morning, and guess what else the white boys had with them? Bleach and rope. They had a bleach and a noose. So either either this was planned, either this was planned, uh -huh. or this was fake, because ain't nobody walking through Chicago, the most dangerous city in the United States. Mm -hmm. White boys at that with no bleach and no rope and no ski mask and just happened to run into the star, one of the stars of Empire. Yeah. And start yelling, you faggot nigga. And notice them. How do you just notice them in the, like that? And notice them in the night. Yeah. Now hold on, Deacon. They just happened to spot him. Now hold on. Don't none of that make no sense. And still no video. No video. No video. No evidence. The only thing we see is him laid up on the bed with a scratch on his face and his eye messed up. Yeah. All right? Look, look like he must have got to fighting with some of his other friends. <laughs> now, watch this. 
I need y'all to get this. I don't know, Sister Shannon. I don't know. Now, did you, let's stop and take a breath for a moment, because something ain't making no sense. I said something ain't making no sense. <laughs> a lot of things ain't making sense here. Now, let's start with the fact that he's in Chicago. What are the chances that you got a group of white men running around Chicago, probably the most urban, probably the, the blackest city, not Houston, not, not Missouri. I'm talking about Chicago, where it's predominantly Democrat, black, Obama lovers. Chi-town. Okay? What is the chance? Yeah, the cameras. You mean to tell me they got cameras everywhere now? You mean to yeah. tell me nobody saw nothing? Come on now. It's the police hey. said the police said they have not they have not recovered any video <laughs> activity showing the whipping. And then the other side of that, I mean, come on, think about it. Uh, Chicago is a major city, almost just as busy as a New York city. So somebody would have been outside and seen that coming out of a hotel. Come on, man. Ain't no way. Look, Deacon Shea said Lucia set him up. <laughs> but what's so funny about that is Deacon Shea ain't far from the truth. <laughs> now watch on, this, Deacon. Watch this. Awesome. Let me tell you what my theory is. They're pushing several agendas here. Mm-hmm. Number one, racial tension. Mm -hmm. You see the racial tension, right? Yeah. You know, nigga, white mag white boys, MAGA hats, beating on the black man, hang them with a hang them with a rope. Yeah. Okay? So so we cover the race baiting, because I don't know about you, Deacon, but something corny about that. Some sound yeah. weird. He just happened to get out there. They said, come here, nigger, and play on Empire. Get in this room. And who want to sub at 2 o'clock in the morning? It's too cold to even be fighting anybody. This sub would have froze by the time you got back to the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, hold on. Watch this. Cold. The second agenda, the second agenda, Deacon, is, is the homosexual. homosexual. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show you why. He's off to Subway with his lover, allegedly. Oh, he won't buy himself? I don't know. I'm just saying. Because oh, oh. if he was buying stuff, that makes it even more crazy sound. A celebrity yeah. of that magnitude walks to Subway with 20 to below 20. What happened to Uber Eats? What happened to what happened to room service? <laughs> what took like exactly. the money? Now, now watch this. Do it, Dad. Watch this, Deacon. Do you know the guy that created the show that he was on? Is called Empire, right? Right, right. I'm gonna show you what this is really about. Uh oh, his okay. name is Lee Daniels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lee Daniels. He's funny style. He's funny style, right? Mm hmm Dane Dash got on him a few months ago. Yeah, and I'm about to, no homo, I'm about to get on him right now. <laughs> Lee Daniels, <laughs> did you know Lee Daniels recently made a statement? Even about the gay superhero? Yes! Mm hmm I saw that. I'm about to show you something, Deacon. Mm hmm I'm about to show you what they ain't putting on the internet. I watch... Um, I think it was Sister Shantae Furlow's page. Shout out to her. I don't know if she's watching. She put up a post today and I saw everybody comment, but I didn't see anybody say this. Lee Daniels put out a statement, Deacon, because he also made another movie called Black Panther. Yeah. Which is the number one Marvel comic. Listen to me. That thing... See, he has nothing to do with that. Huh? Lee Daniels has nothing to do with Black Panther. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. No, 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 no. Back me up. Back the oh. He did something. I don't think he did Black Panther. 
if he didn't do blood, no, no, we gotta go check that because I probably I may be wrong, but I'm gonna get to my point. You may have to fact check that. Y'all erase that. Yes, Sister Estrella, exactly. But watch this. Watch this. Lee Daniels made a statement that's key, and I don't know why nobody not paying attention to this. Lee Daniels said he wants to do one thing, his number one goal. Okay, superhero. <laughs> he want to make a movie based around a black gay superhero. Yeah. Can you imagine a black gay superhero? Hold on, side note. Can you, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> yo. I'm going to leave that alone. Hey, yo. Hey, that'd be the only time I wouldn't want to be a villain, boy. I'll tell you that. I would never. All right, so yeah. listen. <laughs> I need y'all to listen because I'm getting ready to show y'all what this thing is about. Lee Daniels, the, the creator of the show that this guy is an actor, a star actor, and a part of Empire, made the statement he wants to bring the first black gay superhero to the big uh to the big screen. Now, think about this for a minute, Deacon. Lee Daniels wants to do this. Meanwhile, what event is about to come up? The Super Bowl. Where is the Super Bowl? ATL. What is Atlanta known for? Homosexual, black homosexual popul uh, population. As a matter of fact, they call Atlanta the, black the gay Atlanta. capital. And the gay, and the gay capital. Now, I see the agenda. The agenda is we're going to show the poor little black homosexual getting yeah. picked on. We're going to create, watch this, we're going to get this narrative spinning. Lee Daniels is going to capitalize off it because he's already got his homosexual boy toy right there that he can use. Mm -hmm. Now watch this. The Super Bowl is in Atlanta next week, right? Yep. Sunday. <laughs> Do you know what's going on in Atlanta at the same time? What's that? The first two black Men cheerleaders. Oh, wow. Wow. See if you can pull it up. Gonna be in the first Super Bowl. And of course, look how they do this, Deacon. What better place to have the first two male cheerleaders at the Super Bowl than at Atlanta? Because Atlanta is the gay capital. And Sister Nicole Taylor said he better pay Dame his money. Dang, man, I want to get that money the way he, I don't know. <laughs> Look at old boy. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you start, Chuck. Oh, hold on, man. That joint went straight to a doggone commercial. But, but, what does the headline say? There you go. <laughs> there have never been a what, Deacon? Male chili at the Super Bowl. That's about to what? Change. And guess what city? ATL. Watch this. And look, show show saying something that's real true. He he, he may be joking, but he owned the song. Yeah, he is. I saw it too. Because what team is in the Super Bowl? The Rams. Now, if y'all think I'm just being funny with that, the first NFL openly gay player was a man by the name of Michael. Rams. With the Rams. <laughs> and he played for the Rams. Sam with the Rams. Sam I am. Looking for and that now, green. 
And now That's Sam with the Rams is going to be an ATL where the first black male cheerleader in Atlanta, the gay black capital. Look at him. Play it, play it, Deacon. Oh. So, you got some. Uh, I can't believe that we made it to this point. So I'm, I'm pretty sure it's showing off that we've been working pretty hard. Why am I? You know, I was at a Laker game the Wednesday prior, and I was watching the team, the Laker girls. And I was asking myself, why can't I be down there? I've queer gaps for girls who dance in protein. I've danced in. Hey, he doing the butterfly, yo. Hey, yo, you doing that, man? Hold on, yo. Hold on. I'm just showing y'all what they're doing. He is the booty fly. <laughs> The Hyundai Elantra. Oh, that's funny, man. You still here? Yes, sir. Okay, okay, okay. Everything's <laughs> real on trouble. <laughs> I'm going to tell you this. This story ain't over. So while y'all try to figure out if it's real, I'm going to tell y'all this. If he yeah. did really get beat, Deacon, then he was beat, and it was an ordered hit. Mm -hmm. That's if he didn't get hit by one of his boyfriends. Oh. But I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something, Deacon. When I can't figure out if something is real or not, you know where I go next? What's that? We go to our code. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. And, and we check the numbers. Yeah. Now... <laughs> Let's check the numbers. What is the number of Masonic Obsession, Deacon? 33. Now, Jesse Smullett, I want y'all to get this. Jesse Smullett, I'm going to pull it up on my phone too. Jesse Smullett, Deacon. And I'm going to give y'all this. This is going to blow you away. Was beaten... On his 1,000, watch this, Jesse Smollett was beaten on his 1,003, oh, no, 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 I just said that wrong. On his 13,371st 13, day of life. So I need to say that again, Deacon. Mm -hmm. We can pull up the date calculators or whatever. People can check behind me. The day that he was beat, he turned exactly 13,371 uh, days of life. Do you know why that's so funny? Let me write that number down, D, because I don't think they understood. One, three, three. Seven, one. That's that's what day. That's how many days he been alive, or he had been alive on the day he was beat. You see those numbers, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I'm gonna show you how this is all planned out. What numbers do you see in this number? Thirty-three. And you also see 137, right? Uh-huh. Do you know what 137 is? It's the 33rd prime number. Oh. Now watch this. 33 is the number of Masonic obsession. Freemasons have 33 degrees, right? What? And Freemasons wear an apron. A white yeah. apron because in Freemasonry they honor the phallus. Now, in case everybody don't know what the phallus is, uh oh, that's the penis. Yeah. Okay? 
Now, I don't have time to get into Freemasonry tonight, but they do worship sex gods, the phallic symbols and the phallus. That's why you have a Washington Monument. The Washington yeah. Monument is a penis. And if you go to the Washington Monument, it connects to the Oval Office, yeah. the ovaries. The penis connects to the Oval or the Ovary Office. What I'm trying to tell you is, in Freemasonry, the reason they wear those white aprons from the waist down, it represents covering the sacred penis. Oh, the royal penis is clean, Your Honor. The royal penis is clean. <laughs> So, whenever you see Masonic obsession, you'll see their obsession with homosexuality. Mm -hmm. Let's check these numbers because this happened, Deacon. This just happened. This just happened to happen on the 13,300. 13, 37, 1. Now, I'm going to tell you that's no coincidence. This is how far they think this through. Punch in on our calculator the words gay. That's right, Willie Myers. An obelisk. What number comes up when you put in gay? 33. Now, Deacon, this is a little bit different. Pull up. You're going to have to pull up. Well, I tell you what, pull up homosexual. Watch this, Deacon. How many days had he been alive? 13,371. Uh -huh. What numbers do you see? 137 and 133. Uh, yep. Now, Deacon, pull up the satanic. Matter of fact, punch in these words. Punch in butt sex. Oh, my God. I want to show you how far this code is true. This code is so, this code is so true, it don't even matter which way you go with it. It's going to come up. Watch how it comes up. Well, hold on for a minute. I bet. Pull up all your ciphers. It should have been a 666 somewhere. There it is, English Sumerian. Now, just so everybody know that this was not a coincidence, erase all of that digging, bring me back my four base ciphers and put in Empire, because that's what show he play on. <laughs> 33. What number comes up for Empire? 33. And, and of course, Deacon, they said it happened in what city? Chi-Town. Put it in Chicago, and I'm going to show you something. Now, watch how, watch how far this goes, Deacon. Chicago equals, you got your 37 and your 46, right? Yep. But watch this, Deacon. Chicago is known, even in football, for having what defensive scheme? The 4-6. The 4-6. And when you punch in Chicago, it comes out as what? 4-6. Four 4-6. Six. Four now watch this, Deacon. And by the way, just a little bonus. Chicago won Super Bowl twenty. its first Super Bowl. You ready for this, Deacon? Uh huh. It won Super Bowl twenty with a score of forty-six to ten against the Patriots. Now, now watch this. I think his name, Deacon, is Smullett. Put in Smullett. That even sounds funny. Put in Smullett, like smelling. There's your forty-six. <laughs> Put in hate crime, because that's what the news call it, a hate crime. Smellet. 46. Derek said, Kobe said it happened. Hey, Cole. What's up?
what's going? We'll talk. I'll talk to you later. What's happening? All right. Now watch this. Watch this, dirt. I said, watch this, dirt. Little Watch this, um, Deacon Jamal. Forty-six, right? Uh huh. Now, of of course, this happened to him on the January the 29th, two thousand and nineteen. Uh huh. And that's a day that equals out to 42. One plus 29 plus two plus zero plus one plus nine equals 42. This story is 100% fake, contrived, not real. All right? Now, let's get down to Mr. James Ingram because we're running out of time. By the way, look for some more details to involve with this story, and we'll cover it even more. All right, watch this. Austin been dying to tell everybody. Let me stop real quick. Austin been dying to tell everybody that the ram's horns look like 2-9 for the 99 season. So y'all got it. Now, R&B singer James Ingram died, Deacon. Uh-huh. On January 29th, we just talked about that, 2019. Right. A date with 42 numerology. That's always the thing. Watch this. That's always the number or one of the numbers that I centered around black shaming um, issues, centered around black uh, death, black issues in general. Now watch this. I'm getting ready to show y'all something, so share, like, and invite. James Ingram, do you know anything about him at all? Uh, two songs in here. Do you know what might be his number one song? I can't remember what that song what's, was. What's a song that's popular? I don't know. I'm just asking. Maybe oh, somebody. Yeah. My favorite joint he did was uh, the Secret Garden joint with Barry White. You know? That was my joint. Okay. But uh, now, the other joint. It was um I don't have a heart. Hey, look at show. Look what show just put. Now, I'm getting ready to show y'all something. No point intended. James Ingram Deacon died as a watch this as a ritual sacrifice mm -hmm. for the movie Black Panther, and I'm gonna show you how. Because y'all are probably thinking, what do he got to do with Black Panther? What? Remember we covered Black Panther this year? Yeah. When we covered the movie Black Panther, we showed everybody that Black Panther was a movie that was a 666 tribute. Remember that? What? And if you remember, Deacon, Black Panther was released well, you don't have to listen to me. All we got to do is pull up his birthday. James mm -hmm. Ingram's birthday is the same day that Black Panther re was released. Yep, February 16th. February the 16th is the same thing, Deacon, as saying 216. Amen. Amen. How do you get 216? Can anybody remember? I showed y'all what 216 is. Why is that so important? Let me see if anybody can put it in the chat. Yes, it yeah. does. Can anybody tell me? I'll give you a clue. I showed y'all what 216 has to do. Watch this. With the number six. Yeah, and, and just so you know, they, they somebody just posted this in the comments that they are showing Black Panther back in the theaters for free. I, I'm about I'm about to get to that. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. And, 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 and oh my God, somebody's already on it. Yep. Watch this now. What math? Uh oh, look at show. Thirty six times. Six mm -hmm. equals what? Two sixteen. Hold on. Two sixteen. 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 Two sixteen.
Hold on for a minute. 36 times 6 equals 216. Why are we talking about 36? Hmm. Because 36 is the same thing as saying three sixes. Sixes. Gotcha. There you go, show. Oh. All right, show. We're going to take it home. Let's go. Let's go. Now, watch this, Deacon. This man was killed as a tribute to the Black Panther movie. His birthday is the same day that Black Panther came out. Yeah. And here's why your sixes are so important. Because the fact that we talk about 666, Masons get that number from the Bible. Right. Freemasons use the Bible to get revelation. Revelation is the 66th book of the Bible. Yeah. In Revelation, it says, Deacon, who can count the number of the beast? Mm. For it is the number the, of a man. For the number of the beast is the number of a man, and the number is 666. Six, six. Mm. Now, let me show you how this works. How old was he when he died, Deacon? Uh, 66. <laughs> Y'all just, you just missed that. He died at 66 mm -hmm. after being born on the same day, 3, right. 216. Right. The Black Panther Party, I'm talking about, not the movie, I'm talking right. about Black Panther? Right. Do you know what do you know what year they 19, were founded? 1966. I guess all that's a coincidence too, right? Oakland, California. But watch this, Deacon. When you look at Black Panther, okay? Just uh -huh. put in the word black. Put in the word black in your calculator. You see that 29? Uh huh. And you see that number 11, right? Uh huh. What is so significant about those numbers? Because uh -huh. two, 29 equals 11, 2 and 9 is 11. And if you add up every number 1 through 11, that's called a triangular number, it equals 66. Wow. Well, hold on for a minute. Hold on for a minute. Let's see how this works. You see that 29? Uh huh. Let's see why that's important to this story. They say he died of cancer. Matter of fact, he got a brain cancer. Mm -hmm. So, put in, Deacon, if you don't mind, put in brain cancer. Let me see what we get. You see that 209? Uh huh. There's your 29. Now, now watch this. His career started in 73. Yeah. Do you know why that's so important? Because 73 is the number that shows ritual sacrifice. All right? And a lot of people are dropping off, but they're going to miss the Super Bowl prediction. Oh, well. Because I'm not going to take my time and get through this news. 
folk got to learn to pay attention and, and stay close because all is going to connect in a minute. Now, put in sacrifice. He started in 73. Put in the word sacrifice. 73. Now put in Grammy Awards. Because he was known as a Grammy Award winner. Grammy Awards. 73. Now, this going to mess you up right here, Deacon. In case there's any doubt that he was that he died as a sacrifice for the Black Panther movie. Guess what happened in the news the same day he died? What's that? Which is yesterday. Black Panther made the news, and you can pull it up. They're gonna start playing Black Panther back in the movies for free. On the same day he died, after all those other connections, like the date of birth and all those numbers, this hit the news the same day he died. Yep, return to theater. By the way, I wouldn't go anywhere if I was y'all, because I'm going to show y'all how this connects to this nurse, this nurse that raped that woman. We're going to get to that too. Let me know if you see anything about it, Dish. It made all the news. I saw it. it says they're okay. going to have free screenings. It's going to be back in the theaters. Black Panther returning to theaters for free? On what day is this new? What day was this reported? Uh, this came out today. But the news, the original article was on the 29th. But even if it was a day difference. Right. Think about why they bringing this back in the news after James Ingram's death. There you go. It was the 29th because I saw it yesterday. Yeah, it is in New York Times. There you go. If y'all wait a minute, I'm going to tell you who to look for to be the MVP of the Super Bowl and all that. Just hold tight. The two cheerleaders. Now. <laughs> Boy. They the weakest link. <laughs> now. Let me show you how they make fun of all the news, right? Remember I told you everything is connected? You know how yeah. the homosexual gets beat up? Lee Daniels uses in the show Empire after Lee Daniels says he would like to have a gay superhero. At the same time, you got two homosexuals appearing in the cheering, Lee, in the cheering squad um, during the Super Bowl in Atlanta, the gay capital. You see how all the news kind of works around each other? Yep. But watch this, Deacon. So there was the, there was this big story about this nurse, this man that's a nurse. Did you see that? Yeah. yeah. His name was Sutherland or something. I'm about to show y'all about that nurse and get a picture of that dude because I can't imagine having this dude as my nurse. story, right? What's up, Michael Simpson? God bless you, bro. Now, everybody saw this story, right? See that See that hospital that health, that hospital or, or healthcare center called um, Hacienda? Yeah. Now, this is the dude, did you, did you hear about this story, though? Uh-huh. You followed it closely. What did they say he did? Do you remember what they said he did? Uh, they say, well, that the, um, the patient that was um, in vegetative state for over 27 years turned up pregnant. And so it, it, go they ahead. didn't know that she was pregnant. They didn't know she was pregnant until she gave birth. And apparently she's in a vegetative Yeah, he had pregnant. There you go. There you go, show. A vegetated lady. Yes. Now, 
Remember I told you all the news connects, right? Yep. Now let's look at Mr. I think his name is um let me see. Nathan. Nathan Sutherland. Uh, Sutherland. Put the put his name in the calculator. Let's see what's up with this. And I'm gonna show you this is all part of the Super Bowl rituals and everything that's going on too. I'm telling y'all, we got a lot of good stuff to get to. Don't get tired now. There it is. Nathan Sutherland equals 63. You see that, right, Deacon? Yep. And keep in mind, Deacon, this happened at the Hacienda. Yeah. So put in the word Hacienda and watch you get your reflection. There's your 3663. Again, just like your Black Panther tributes. Now watch this. This is where it's going to get interesting. So this story is about this nurse. This guy, Deacon, has sex with a lifeless body. That's what they yeah. put in the news. I want you to put Nathan Sutherland back in there, and I want you to pull up. Uh, I want to show you something. See if you can find a 740 for him. A 740? A 740. There it is. It's in it. All right. You see the number 740 for his name, right? Uh-huh. I want you to put in these words and see if we can get a match. Because you know 74 is just like 47. That's the number mirror. Put in licensed practical nurse Nathan Sutherland and watch you get a 1741. I'm going to show you this. Now, which, look which one you get a 1741 in. Satanic. Now, let me explain satanic for a minute. Satanic, every number, Deacon, starts, watch this, with 36. So instead of starting with A, B, and 1, every letter, rather, starts with the number 36. And that's why uh, 666 is the 36th triangular number. Think about bowling pins. Yeah. Okay? Just like bowling pins. So now, now that we know that this guy is a perfect match, they also mentioned that the lady, I think, was a Native American. Which is really important because everything that's in the news has been about Native Americans against white folks. And this has been going on all year long. Well, while this was going on, Deacon, while this was going on, this going to blow y'all mind. The guy that made the movie Little Rail, or made the show Little Rail, is that? No, it's called Rail. The show is called Rail. His name is Kevin Barnett. See if you can pull up the news when he died. All this happened at the same time, and y'all think this is a coincidence. Has anybody seen the show Rail before? I have not seen it. I had to look it up and see what it was about. Has anybody seen the show Rail? Please type and let me know. I'm going to show you how they play games. So, so you have comedian and Rail co-creator Kevin Barnett dies at 32. You see that, right? Now, has anybody seen it? Anybody seen a show called Rail? Okay, Sister Bobby Fields says she's seen it. Now look, see, look what she look what Sister Bobby Fields just said. Wow. So while we're getting the story all over the news about a male nurse. 
that's raping a woman, a male nurse, or the guy that created a show called Rail about a male nurse, and this is what I read in the little, the little uh, oh. description. Yeah, the show is about a male nurse who got a divorce and is trying to get his life back in order. Rob Jr. said that's his that's his shot right there. Now, yeah. what are the chances, Deacon? What are the chances that this happened at the same time while we got a story about a male nurse raping this woman at the very same time? Now, since the show is about Little Real, and you know who Little Real is, yeah, the comedian from Get Out, I think. He was on Get Out. TSA, do me a quick favor. Uh -huh. This happened, Deacon, on January. The death of Kevin Barnett was on January 22nd, 2019, right? Uh huh. Let's get our date numerology. January 22nd, 2019. That's one plus 22. 23. Plus two. 25. Plus zero. Plus one, plus nine. 35. That equals 35, right? Mm -hmm. Now go to your calculator and put it in real. Let's see if we can get a perfect match. Thirty-five. There's your perfect match. Now watch this, dude. This way it's gonna get ugly and really eerie. They say he died from a non-traumatic hemorrhage. A non-traumatic, I think that's it, a non-traumatic hemorrhage. I have no idea what that really means. It bl bleed on the brain. I had an idea, but I just didn't know why it's called a non-traumatic hemorrhage. But watch this. So they say he died of a non-traumatic, put that in the calculator. I'm going to show you how they plan these deaths. This is going to blow your mind right here. He died of a non-traumatic hemorrhage. One twenty-two. You know why that's so strange, Deacon? Because what day did he die on? One twenty-two. There it is. Now, and, and, and watch this. They say he died on the 22nd. And if you look in the news report, it says something about, in, is it Tijuana? I, I had to pull it up myself there. Is it in Tijuana, T-I? How you pronounce that? Let me go back and pull it up. Is that where he died? Yeah, I think he died in, is it Tijuana? Yeah, some folks say Mexico. Somebody said Mexico, so I'm pretty sure yeah, Tijuana's in Mexico. Yep, but to be specific, he died in Tijuana. If you don't mind, Deacon, put in Tijuana. Dog, it thing's slowing down. Bad yeah, woman slowing down. Hold on, I'm gonna go to the other thing. That's all right. I'm gonna I'm get to the Super Bowl stuff in a minute, y'all. I'm gonna have to cut it short a little bit because we're running short on time. How you spell your one? I don't know how to get to everything. Thank y'all for bearing with me. It still yeah. ain't too late to share like an invite. What'd you say, Deacon? How you spell Tijuana? Oh, Lord, let me Google it. Hold on. Somebody spell Tijuana. Damn, my phone is acting slow.
Okay. I know I thought it was only one news. There it is. Sister Angie Doswell Cruz put. Thank you, Sister Angie. Thank you, Sister Kelly. I knew that. <laughs> What number do you see in blue? Two, two, 22. So now let's go back and retract real quick so we can move on because we had that little pause. He died on the 22nd of a, of a non-traumatic hemorrhage, which equals 122, um, at T in Tijuana, which also equals 22. As you can see, all of this was pre-planned. It is this. There's not this many coincidences in the world, y'all. And there's no way we can do this every week, every single week, and go to each story. It doesn't matter what news story you go to. Pretty much, you will see that this is, in fact, how this world is running. By the system. All right? We almost done. Let, real quick, Deacon, let me show him another quick way to show him how this works. So that Trump announced that he was going to finally do the State of the Union address if you can pull it up, on February the 5th. Or are you still waiting on your computer? Uh, I'm good. Okay. Real quick, I'm going to show y'all how you can use this for anything in the news. As long as, it's, as long as it's mainstream. I'm not talking about local stuff. I'm talking about stuff that makes mainstream news worldwide, whatever. It's true. It works. Now watch this. Trump 2019 State of the Union address will be held at 9 p.m. on Tuesday, February the 5th. Now, February the 5th, Deacon, is written like this. Either 5 slash 2 uh -huh. or 2 slash 5, right? Right. Let me tell you why Trump picked that, why they picked that day for Trump to do it. It is not arbitrary. This was done on purpose. Now, watch this. Trump's State of the Union address is done on 2 slash 5 or 5 slash 2, depending on how you write it. The reason it was delayed, Deacon, what was the reason why we had to wait on the State of the Union address to begin with? The government shut down. There you go. Well, guess what? The government shutdown ended on the 25th day of the year. So watch this. The Trump State of the Union will be on 2 slash 5 after it after watch this the 25th day well after it ended the government shutdown rather on the 25th day of the year and this was Trump's second year and fifth day in office okay y'all didn't get that Trump's Five. state of the union would be on 2 slash 5 it was delayed because of the shutdown that ended on the 25th day of the year. And it happened on Trump's second year and fifth day of being president. All 25s, right? Uh-huh. Now put in Trump. I'm about to hit the football next, y'all. Just hold on. Because I'm pushing some stuff back. What number do you see for Trump? 25. And this is going to blow your mind. This is going to blow your mind. Put in president while you're right there. Fifty-two. <laughs> now, put in Pence, because that's Trump's sidekick. Put in Pence. Twenty-five. There it is again. Now watch this, y'all. The State of the Union. Well, matter of fact, let me back up. You ever heard of Nan, um, Nancy Pelosi? I hear her name a lot lately. Recently. She's involved. And guess what? Go ahead and put her name in. Because she's involved with this whole address. And I'm getting ready to show you who she is and why they picked her. This is going to blow your mind, Deacon. Everything is done by this code. Put in Nancy Pelosi. 52. 52? And guess what, Deacon? She's the 52nd Speaker of the House. <laughs> 
and she received her invitation. Put in the word invitation. See that? Sister, Lata uh, Sister Latonja Kelly said, speak of the house. Speak of the house. 52. Now, watch this, bro. This way it's going to get real funny. The State of the Union, which is on 2 slash 5, right? Right. Will be exactly 45 days after the shutdown began. The shutdown began. Watch this. Anybody know what day the shutdown began? I'm trying to find that joint myself, man. The shutdown began. I, I, I should know about hunting much as I posted about it. As many posts as I put up about it. December 22nd. From that day, Deacon, watch this, to the State of the Union is exactly 45 days. Now watch this. What president is he? 45. 45. That's how they now 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 watch this deacon. Just to just to add insult to injury, if you think that's a coincidence, this happened to shut down. Watch this. This happened on 125 19. What's one plus twenty-five plus nineteen? Forty-five. There it is again. All right, we're getting ready to. I'm going to try to skip some of this, and we're going to try to get to some football because I know that's what they care about. Oh, I forgot. One more thing, Deacon. This is part of the Super Bowl riddle. Do you remember this year? I told everybody on Warfare. I told everybody in the barbershop. I told everybody at, word, at the Word Church. I said there was a story. This was done, Deacon, before the, Super, before the season even started. There was a story in the news that Tom Brady saw a bear in the Montana woods. Yeah, I remember that. Everybody remember me saying that? Do anybody remember me pointing that out? They can find that story so they can see when we talked about that before the season even started. Now I'm about to hit this football and show y'all what's going on. Tom Brady, watch this, Deacon. Give me some kind of a date or something so we can see how far we've been talking about this. How long ago? This was on 4th of July. Y'all, this is about to get good. Y'all might want to share and invite some people. This is getting ready to get good. All right? They go real. We must be talking about football. What's up, real? What up, real? <laughs> All right. Real, real proud of was taking a nap till he heard us say something about this. Because this is his thing, right? Here. I saw what you've been putting up to, Rip, on that 26. You're already yep. on it. But watch this. Watch this. I'm going to do something a little different than Zach and do something a little different. I'm going to take y'all there. Just hang in there with me. So, when, when did this happen, D? Uh July 4th last summer. Now, this happened on 4 slash 7. There's the Masonic number. But watch this, Deacon. All the way back before the season started in September, they put out a dumb story. Like they, This is what they do. They make up stories that all center around the theme of the Super Bowl for the upcoming season. Why would they tell us this? What does it say, Deacon? Uh, Tom Brady had a hilarious reaction to spotting a bear in Montana. Now, let's talk about that, Deacon. I told everybody back then this would be a major riddle in determining what's going to happen, who going to the Super Bowl, right? Right. 
all year long, nobody's paying attention. There's been stuff going around, going on with Bears. Even the Chicago Bears had a really good year this year. Yeah. All right, now watch this. I'm getting ready to show you how this works. Every Super Bowl of the modern era has been scripted. It is fake. Professional sports are rigged and scripted by this code of numbers. So what I'm going to do, Deacon, and this is how we're going home tonight. It's only 11.16. I'm going to try to be done in the next 15, 20 minutes. I'm going to show y'all how some of your most popular Super Bowls were scripted. Then I'm going to show you how this centers around what's going on right now. Now watch this. Remember, Deacon, when the Patriots, you can keep that up right there. Don't even worry about it. Remember when the New, when the New England Patriots played the Seattle uh, Seahawks? Uh-huh. I think it was in Super Bowl... I forget what number it was. But anyway, matter of fact, was it 50? 50? I think it was either 51. I forget. But anyway, listen good. I want to show you how they script every game. For those that watch football and remember that game, the game came down to the wire. The Seattle Seahawks, or the Seattle Seahawks had arguably the strongest running back to ever play the game. I'm yeah. saying arguably. I'm going to talk about your Niners in a minute, Sister Tina Burrell. Sister Tina, I keep calling her Tina. By the way, congratulations. Now, watch this. I'm going to get to the 49ers, too, since you brought them up. I'm going to show you that y'all Super Bowl was fake, too, if you're a Super Bowl, if you're a 49 But watch this, D. That Super Bowl, if you remember, all they had to do was give the ball to Marshawn Lynch, beast mode. Beast mode. Marshawn Lynch, if you can remember, Deacon, that season had not had a game with managed yards. He had not lost yards on a carry all year long. Right. So they wait to the end of the game in the biggest game of everybody's career, the Super Bowl. And instead of giving him the ball, watch this, on second and one, listen good, on second and one, all they need is one yard. The man ain't lost a yard all year. On second and one, instead of giving him the ball, they drop back and pass it with Russell Wilson. Now watch this, D. It was second and one. What is that like saying? 21. When he drops back, Russell Wilson throws an interception. Guess to who? Malcolm Butler, number 21. Malcolm Butler, number 21. And guess how much time was left on the clock when he did that, Deacon? Gabby, I can't remember. 21 seconds. That's right, that's right. 21 seconds. Now, hold on. And guess what Russell Wilson finished the game with? That was his 21st pass of the game that he threw that last interception on. And he finished the game 12 for 21. Now watch this, Deacon. The Super Bowl that they played on that day uh -huh. was being played on February the 1st. What number is that? 21. Oh, my God. And if anybody know about Seattle... Seattle's defense is known as the 12th man. Yeah. Which is the mirror 21. 21. So let's play it. Let me play it back. Instead of giving the ball to the best running back, they drop back on second and one. Russell Wilson throws his 21st pass, an interception to number 21, uh, Malcolm Butler. Watch this. 
on February the 1st in the land of the 12th man defense, Seattle Super, uh, the Seattle Seahawks. Now, let me give you another example, Deacon. We're almost done. Since she brought up the 49ers, and I can, t and let me go and let her know we're ready for anything. I didn't know that Sister Tanae was going to bring up the 49ers, but let me just give her something to just satisfy her craving for the Niners. All my 49ers fans, listen up. You ready for this, D? Uh huh. San Francisco 49ers. I want you to think back to John Madden. They play in Super Bowl. Watch this. They were in the Super Bowl of season of the 94th of season 94. In other words, it was 1994 season. Okay. So let me show you how they play games, y'all. The 49ers made it to the Super Bowl in the 94 season. See the number 49 mirror? Right. That's when Dion played, if I ain't mistaken. That, yep. Now watch this, Deacon. That just happened to be San Francisco's 49th season as a franchise. Wow. And if you could do me a favor, Deacon, uh -huh. can you pull up how many points they scored in that game when they won that Super Bowl? Forty-nine points. Stop it! Stop it! I'm gonna say that again. And keep this. Keep them stats up. Keep them stats up right there, Deacon. San Francisco 49ers. I'm trying to show Sister Tanae how this thing is rigged, so all of all these football folk can stop screaming at the TV because it's fake. Now watch this. The San Francisco 49ers. In year 94, which was the 49th season for the San Francisco franchise, won the Super Bowl by scoring how many points? 49. And Steve Young led all the rushers. Steve Young led all the rushers with how many yards? Yeah, 49. Stop it. Man, y'all think this is a joke. All right, let me give y'all one y'all can remember, then we'll get to this one. All right. Now watch this, Deacon. New England Patriots against ATL, right? Right. I'm sitting over Deacon Shea Brown House. I've told the story many times. But now I'm going to give y'all more information than I ever gave y'all before. I'm over Deacon Shea Brown house. Now, he was in here. He might be asleep by now. Or playing Fortnite. I mean, Call of Duty, whatever. I was at Deacon Shea Brown house. And I'll never forget, I told everybody that the Patriots was going to win the Super Bowl. I went in the barbershop. I went in the church. I told everybody that all you got to do is watch the halftime show. Right. That's a fact. Now watch this, y'all. This is a fact. When I was over at Shea House, his wife put together some banana pudding that was out of this world. All right? Atlanta Falcons went up. They took off and got up on the Patriots at the half, at halftime, they were up by 25 points. Do you remember that, Deacon? Uh-huh. The score 20. was 28 to 3. 3. Now, I need y'all to listen to this. Before the game even started, I told everybody the halftime show is the riddle to the game. Lady Gaga... Lady Gaga did the halftime show, if y'all can remember. Uh-huh. Watch this show. Lady Gaga 
Now, by this time, it's halftime. I'm in Shea House, Deacon Shea House, and everybody's starting to leave Deacon Shea House early because they said there's no way they're going to come back. And the man that just said on the TV, there has never been a comeback this big in Super Bowl history. Now, I told Deacon Shea's wife, Sister Shamari, bring me another cup of banana pudding. This ain't nothing but a good movie. That's what I told everybody in the house. One of Deacon Shea's boys gave me doubt, gave me fire, told me bye. They was like, Pastor Rob, you had a good year, but you're wrong on this one, Pastor Rob. I, I proceeded to eat that banana pudding. We're going home, but I want to show y'all something. I proceeded to eat that banana pudding, and all of a sudden, history was being made. As we were looking around, I ain't going to lie, I got scared. Because the <laughs> game wasn't looking good. The score was 28-3 to three at the half. Right, Deacon? Uh-huh. Lady Gaga did the halftime show, and I'll never forget, I think Derek, Derek Hood was there, a few other people. I began to try to look for clues in the halftime show. We looked up Lady Gaga's birthday. Lady Gaga's birthday is March the 28th. Watch this. Sister Tanae, Sister, Sister Tanae, it won't a mess. It was fake. While I was sitting in Deacon Shay's floor, y'all, or rather I was sitting on the couch, I looked up and we looked up uh, Lady Gaga's birthday. Lady Gaga's birthday is March the 28th. Y'all ready for this? Uh-huh. March the 28th is just like saying 328. What was the score at halftime? 28-3. Now, let me show you why the Patriots put up the greatest 25, the biggest or the largest comeback in Super Bowl history. Now I'm going to show y'all something. Stay with me. This was Super Bowl Deacon 51, right? Right. It was on 2 slash 5, February the 5th. The AFC, watch this, had got their, watch this, the AFC was getting ready to pick up their 25th win. Patriots got the ball on the 25-yard line. And if y'all remember, the person that scored the touchdown to win it was number 25, James White. Who turned 25 years old. Oh, y'all didn't hear what I just said. Who turned 25 years old shortly before the game. This was the 25th playoff win. This was the 25th playoff win for Tom Brady. And this was the 97th NFL season. 97 is the 25th prime. Well, watch this. 97 is the 25th prime number. And in the beginning of that season, Deacon, they changed the rules and moved the touchback back. To 25 yards. Yep. Everything they did, like all the other Super Bowls, was done by the numbers. Now, remember I told you, Deacon, that that bear that was seen in the woods? Uh huh. Now I'm going to show you the newest riddle that ain't that. My good friends, Zach, and some of the other ones who are better than I am at this, who they didn't, I don't think they saw. Guess what was in the news? There ain't nobody paying attention to this week. Mm. Can you pull up the New York Post, Deacon, and put in Child Win Science Fair Project proving Tom Brady to be a cheater? I want you to see how they play games with y'all. I'm about to. Date, um, Brother Rip said, what was the, the, the date? The date was 
Two-five, February the 5th. Now watch this, y'all. I want to show you how they tell you who going to win. For everybody that want to know who going to win the Super Bowl, I want you to pay attention to the last clue, one of the last clues I'm about to give you that nobody's talking about. And I want y'all to look at this stupid story that they made up and put in the news for those who don't know what's going on. But Warfare wins, they do. We're getting ready to crack the case. They broke the news. We're going to fix it. Look at this stupid. Digging. Had you seen this story yet? Yeah, I ain't even look at it, but I saw it. I just kept on past it. Now, how dumb is this? A 10-year-old boy does a science fail project proving that Tom Brady is a cheater. <laughs> What's the date on this thing, Deacon? Uh, 124. Now, this is how bad, this is how ignorant they think we are, the public. They make up stupid stories. Look at a little kid holding up a poster board with is Tom Brady. And look at Tom Brady's hands. I'm telling y'all what to look at. Look at his hands. Yeah, he got two fours up. Oh, boy. If I were y'all, I would go to this post and zoom in. That's what I'm going to tell y'all. That's all I'm going to tell y'all. Digga Jamal, you ain't got to do it. What you need to know, what y'all need to know is in this post. The problem, listen to how they putting it. Look, look at the riddle. The hypothesis, the procedure. Now watch this, y'all. Watch this. Deacon, I want you to go to the New York Post at the top and point out the time of the post. I'm going to show you how everything is done by this code. 502. Do what? 502. 25. You got to be joking with me. 25. Deacon, after all of those 52s and 25s, you mean to tell me that I told y'all that the major clue of the Super Bowl is in this New York Post that just posted about a child winning a science fair project proving that Tom Brady is a cheater. And you mean the time that they posted it was what, Deacon? 5.25. Man, stop playing with us. All the people that left us early, they gonna miss it. Stay with me. If y'all see what I see, Start lighting up some flames. Now watch this, y'all. Now, Deacon, this is going to be interesting. 5.02 a.m. Now, what was the thing, Deacon, that everybody accused Tom Brady of cheating about? Remember what it was called? Deflate gate. Now go to your calculator and put in deflate gate because I'm getting sleepy and I'm ready to go to bed. Is that two words? I don't know, but it don't matter if you separate it or not because it's still the same amount of letters. Deflate gate equals out to 41, right? Uh-huh. How old is Tom Brady? 41. <sighs> Tom Brady saw a bear. Where did he see the bear? In Montana. What state is Montana? Is that the 41st? Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! Good night! <laughs> Deacon, y'all didn't hear what I y'all did not hear what I just said. Deflate gate is 41. 41. Tom Brady turned. Remember, the little boy Deacon was trying to do an experiment on if Tom Brady is a cheater. 
Right. It was done at 5.02, 52, 25. We've been showing you all night. And on January 24th. And, and on January 24th, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Deacon. The thing that everybody accused Tom Brady of being a cheater about is the flake gate. That equals what? 41. Hey, Sister Rhonda, 41. Yes, yeah, Sister Khan. Wow. Well, watch this, Deacon. Let me tell you why this is so interesting. He saw a bear before the season started, and I told y'all on Warfare Wednesday, that bear that he saw in the Montana woods was the riddle for the Super Bowl, right? Right. Now you see why he saw the bear in the Montana woods. Now I'm going to show you what Montana got to do with it. Joe Montana played for who? 49ers. And who else? And the Chiefs. Who did Tom Brady beat to get to the Super Bowl? Chiefs. Now, remember on Columbus Day, Deacon, you and I went live? And when we went live, we talked about the games that was played on Columbus Day. Remember the Redskins played against the Saints? Uh-huh. And remember two baseball teams played and got eliminated, the Indians and the Braves? Right. And I told you that they were putting a riddle for the Super Bowl, the Native Americans? Right, right. Against the white man, the cowboy? Uh-huh. Now think about it, Deacon. The Chiefs is the Native American where, the, where Joe Montana used to play. Tom to Brady's play. favorite player all time is Joe Montana. Now watch this, Deacon, because I ain't finished. When they play, there's a guy that's in the Super Bowl that's playing against Brady. He's the youngest quarterback ever to be in this position. Jared Goff. His name is Jared Goff. Jared Goff. Jared, watch this. Jared Goff went to what college, Deacon? Uh, I'm getting California. ready to give y'all the riddle. California. Hold on. He went where? Uh, California. Cal State. Cal. Cal. Not Cal State, but Cal. California. Could you tell me what is Cal's mascot? Golden Bell. <laughs> Hold on. Jared Goff, the Cal Bear. Now, did you? One more thing. We almost done with this riddle. Who you said who you said was um who whose favorite player was Tom was Joe Montana? Tom Brady. Oh, okay. So, so was Jared Goff. Oh no, I didn't know that. And, I didn't and know he that. Wears, he wears the number sixteen. I didn't know that. And he wears the number sixteen as a tribute to Joe Montana. Oh my I didn't know that. Deacon, you do it every week. You it do works. it every Oh, behave. All right, watch this. Watch this. So now watch the riddle, y'all. Before the season even started, I told everybody, first of all, Rip is on here. So what I'm going to do tonight, if I'm lying, I'm flying. Rip inbox me in the beginning of the season to ask me who I was picking. I told Rip, I just all I know is that, it, that the teams I'm looking for that's going to win the Super Bowl are going to equal 99. And of course, guess who in the Super Bowl? And the only way y'all can prove this, Damian Lewis is not going to lie to me, lie for me. He can go to his inbox right now, and he can show you way back in September or August where I told him that the teams I picked would have to be a 99 
What I mean by 99 is, Deacon, if you put in the name New England, I mean Patriots, uh -huh. it should equal, or New England, it should equal 99. So I already knew who was going to the Super Bowl and who was going to win, and I told y'all that all year. Patriot equals what, Deacon? 99. Now, let's see if I'm a liar or not. All year long, if you go on my Facebook page, if you go on my Facebook page, I did specials about 99s. Did I not, Deacon? All the time. Remember the Redskins that signed um, Adrian Peterson mm -hmm. on 9 slash 9, played his first game for, um, I think it was 99 million or something crazy, and he, uh, uh, he broke the, the record. He came in the game with 99 touchdowns. And then remember I did a special on Drew Brees? Uh-huh. And then remember I did a special not only on Drew Brees, I did one on, what's the boy name? Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald? J. Aaron J. Donald is number 99, right? J.J. Watt. And he, watch this, and he held out for 99 days, right? Mm-hmm. And then I did a special on J.J. Watt. Yep. Who he played for, Deacon? Texas. Watch this. Almost, with, with the exception of the Redskins, the players that I did 99 specials on, all of them were in the Final Four. That's number one. I told Rip, because I told y'all I won't go get y'all the answer to the Super Bowl this year. But I did inbox rip that I'm waiting to see. This is before the season even got going. I said, but the team will equal 99 because this is the 99, the 99th NFL season. And I did post about 99 all year long, right? Uh-huh. Now watch this, Deacon. The two coaches this year. Right. One of them. Hold on, I wrote it down. One of them is 33 years old. That's the, uh, the, the Rams, Rams coach. coach. Yeah. And that's the Masonic number of obsession, right? Right. What other number we've been talking about all night? The other coach is 66. Uh-huh. What, what is 33 plus 66? 99. You got your Super Bowl with both coaches. Now, hold on. Hold on, Deacon. We almost done. So, Jared Goff is the bear that Tom Brady saw in the Montana woods. Now, watch this. Who is Jared Goff's touchdown number one receiver? I ain't got time to play with people. Who was it that bailed out Jared Goff? Who was the one that won the that, that caught the winning touchdown for Jared Goff? <clears throat> Man, I'm so tired. Everybody need to go and donate. I've been told y'all. Listen, and I'm gonna tell you who gonna win the game. Don't even worry about it. Who was it? I mean, who was it that who caught it? His name was Woods. Robert Woods. Look at that. Show Ice J. Now watch this. Do you see the riddle? Uh-huh. Jared Goff saw Jared Goff, the cow bear. Uh-huh. Tom Brady saw him. Who did he throw it to? The Woods. It was the Woods that won the game. Robert Woods. That propelled yeah. them to the next level, to the Super Bowl. That was the riddle. Now, I just showed you the two coaches equal 99. What am I leaving out? There's so much I want to tell y'all. Real quick, Rip, Rip posted this too. And I thought this was interesting. So, because I didn't, I was looking at the Pro Bowl, but I won't look at it. I went out to eat Sunday. And it was on, but I never watch it because it's boring. But yeah, when I it saw is. it on Rip Page, I saw this on Rip Page, and it made sense. All of this stuff that's going on is about the flag. 
Mm-hmm. And I ain't got time to go back to tell you about the Madden tournament. Remember that, Deacon? The Madden uh-huh. tournament. And right. if you remember, talked about they was playing in Atlanta, talked about all the stuff that we talked about this year. Uh-huh. But it's all about the flag. Flag equals 26. Okay? We almost done. Five minutes, we gone. Flag equals 26. And if you remember, Deacon, 26 is the number that I told y'all about this year. Remember Le'Veon Bell? Yeah, number 26. And I told you he held out? Yeah. And then remember, three people came on my page and was talking about how I called the winning lottery numbers 26. It was 626. Yeah. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, everything in the news started being 26s? Yep. This going to blow your mind. The final score of the Pro Bowl, the AFC won. Make sure I got this right. Did the AFC win with 26 points or was it 26 total, Rip? I started on your page. Yep, 26 total. Now watch this, dude. I told him about Le'Veon Bell, who was 26, yo, 26 years old, who had a jersey number 26. Le'Veon <laughs> equals 26. Yeah. That's how far that stuff go, Deacon. But watch this. Remember, remember it was at the same time of Ruth Franklin right. and the Queen and the Queen of England. Remember the Queen of England? Ruth Franklin right. was born in 26, rather, it was um the Queen of England, rather, was born in 26. Well, watch this, Deacon. One player, and I'm not going, I'm gonna give the other one in my stories. I'm going to give the other one in my stories this week. One player you might want to look out for is a guy by the name of well, number 26. Anybody know who I'm about to say? For the Patriots? No. <laughs> Oh, is he for the? Hold on, hold on. His name is Sunny or Sunny. I'm waiting on somebody to type it. Sunny Michelle. Yep, Sunny Michelle. Who he play for? Patriots. Patriots. But never mind that. I just said something was wrong. Now. Sonny Michelle Deacon is number what? 26. Well, hold on. If the Patriots win, guess which win they're going to get for their playoff history? 26. The 26 win. I'm telling y'all what they look for. Who? Let's see how this going to go. If Jared Goff lose, listen to, listen to what I'm saying, Deacon. Right. If the Patriots win, they'll pick up their 26. Oh, yeah. Look what Rip just said. The dude is from Georgia, too. Wouldn't it be good for him to be the MVP in his whole hometown? But watch this. Watch this. See, and if one of y'all, if one of y'all win a lot of money, Y'all better come back and see me. I'm telling you who might be the MVP, and I'm going to give you my second choice on my stories this week. But watch this, Deacon. If the AFC win, they will get the 26. They will get the uh, their 26 playoff. All right? Win. No, no, no. Let's back up. If the Patriots win, they'll get the AFC's 26th Super Bowl. Okay, okay. If the Rams lose, 
they'll get their 26 playoff loans. Ah. Uh, All right. Jared Goff, you ready for this? Uh huh. If they lose, Jared Goff will be stuck at 26 career wins total. All right. All right. Now, he might be the MVP. Now, let me show you how this thing will make your skin crawl, Deacon. And this is what we've done. I'm going home. Well, I'm at home. <laughs> Remember when I did the 26s last time, right? Right. And I showed them, and then it hit the lottery hit right after that? Yeah. And the numbers for the lottery was 26s, 626. Right. Guess what was in the news this week? Hmm. A couple, I need you to pull this up and we're going home. Mm -hmm. A couple played the lottery so much that they won. Watch this. Years. Look at how they do this, Deacon. <laughs> Pull it up. So, look at the story this week, y'all. Retired Michigan couple wins 26 mil. How many million? 26 mil. Now, D, the last time I talked about 26s, that's the number that came up in the lottery, and that was the number that came up with the deaths of Aretha Franklin, with the deaths of um the rapper, I forgot his name. Everything came down to 26. Remember that, right? Yeah. 26 is back around again. And right when they come back around, they post this story about the lottery again, except they make up a bogus number. And if I had time, I would show you that. Guess how them people did? They played the lottery over and over and over again. Wow. I just caught on to something by show. What? Wow. Shit. Tom, Tom Brady. Brady went to Michigan. But she, what? look, they, they won a lottery. They won a, y'all, you just said they won a lottery in Michigan, right? But guess what else they won the lottery at? They won the only place. Where? Massachusetts. Hold on. Where the Patriots play at? Boston. Mark, he says, wife, he says, look, Jesse Selby said it was just basic arithmetic that helped him and his wife win, uh, his wife Marge win certain state lottery games in oh, Michigan. Oh, 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 Deacon, Deacon. What did they say helped them win? Basic arithmetic. Do you see the riddle? They're telling you if you can figure out the numbers. Yep. Do you see that? Uh -huh. They real? We, I know, listen to me. We're the ones that's doing the basic math. You know what? I, I got I to gotta do this before we go, D. I know it's late. I got to do this. Look at that story again. He said they did basic. Re read what you were reading again, please. Hold on, let me see. And then I'm gone. I'm gone. I promise you. Man, they some, they some wild people with these numbers, bro. I'm telling you, it's real, y'all. Hey, Yo. I'm asking everybody to please share this all day tomorrow. I'm going to be looking at who's talking about this, who's sharing it. I want the shares to go through the roof, and I'm going to bless somebody else when we come back next week or the next time. And I owe Sister Yoshida. What you got, Deacon? What you see? So we can go. I mean, he's breaking the whole number thing down. The dude, he broke it down. Like how he played the joint. He broke the whole joint, the number, the number system down. Hold on. Willie Dixon says it's funny because if you add up Virginia pick three and pick four for tonight, it equals 26. No, that ain't true. That can't be true. You better watch it for the next two weeks. I'm trying to tell y'all something. Now watch this, Deacon. Would you say you want to be already doing this? They use basic, basic. Look, look. 
Look, look. <laughs> what? What? They use basic basic arithmetic to crack the code. Oh, certain to lottery crack games. the code. The code. Listen, I done gave y'all the Super Bowl. I had a hundred and some people watching at one point. It's late now. I done told y'all who to look for to be the MVP, a good possibility. I'm not, I'm not sure. And I'm going to give you one more on my story. I ain't going to keep giving y'all this game. Go break bread. I've been right about calling who going to be in the Super Bowl the last three years. I done call, Listen to me. We have called natural disasters. Last time we had that big storm, I told y'all don't. We're supposed to get that big storm. I told y'all don't go by the waters. People was right on my page. If I had only listened to Pastor Rob, when, I'm trying to tell y'all what's going on. Look, Rodney Leeper said, he said, damn, my birthday is two slip, two six. <laughs> now watch this. Watch this, Deacon. This is where we're going home. Do you know why they always put 26 around the money? Uh-huh. In a lottery and all that? Why is that? It makes sense, man. Put you in dollar. It is. It's a double. Hold on, Look. Deacon. Look. Now hold. Put it in bank. Yeah. Somebody said Willie Dixon is right. The numbers tonight in the lottery added up to 26. I bet I bet you better keep watching it the next two weeks. Hold on, Deacon. Bank comes out to what? 26. Hold on, Deacon. Do me a favor. Put in arithmetic. Because that's what they say they use. Hey, man, listen. Ain't nothing popping like Warfare Wednesday. Period. There's no better information in all of Facebook. There's nothing else going on live better than this. Point blank. I ain't being arrogant. It's just like that. Ain't nothing you can say. Look out for Warfare the movie, Warfare the, 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 the web series, Warfare apparel, Warfare cookies, Warfare water. It's on the way. Y'all see me see me rocking my Warfare, right? It's on Sweet too. You know what I'm saying? I got my, my army, my military... You know what I'm saying? Camouflage, yeah. Yeah, warfare is an army, better yet a navy, you know. All right, here we go. Hold on, Anthony Anderson said, check this out, Pastor Rod. The point spread is two and a half. So yes, Tom Brady will win, but the Rams will cover the spread. So the winner will be Vegas, the Rams. They will win. Be and by the way, that's another element that I need to tell y'all about. I'm so glad that Aunt Brother Anderson said it. It's not about calling the game. That's why I don't be quick to tell y'all the winner of games because it's bigger than that. It's about covering the spread. You're exactly right. That is a very, very good. That's a very. That is a very possible narrative. What you just said, Anthony Anderson. All right, here we go. Here we go. So I just gave y'all the riddle. That's why I paid to never miss Warfare Wednesday. Because before the season started, Deacon, we told uh, them what the riddle was going to be for the end of the year, and we brought it all the way back. Just like we called Aretha Franklin's death, just like this same code, this same system called Prince's death, and many others. I didn't even get to get into the rappers. Just like we called, listen, we were able to show you how Tupac died by these numbers, how, how Aaliyah died by these numbers, how R. Kelly is put on trial by these numbers. How and I, I didn't even get to get to Chris Brown. I knew it was something I forgot. But anyway, put in arithmetic so we can go. There it is. You should have had a 68 somewhere. Did you spell it right? Uh-huh. Because I did it earlier. Yeah, that's it. Let me see if I spelled, let me see if I spelled it right. Bank 26, dollars 26. 
Hold on. Do me a favor, did you put in crack the code? Since that's what they say. They put crack the code. That's the exact words they use. Crack the code. It should have been a 68. Something missing. Something I did wrong. You know what? Put in basic arithmetic. That's what they said. I read it as it was said on the on the actual article. Put in basic arithmetic. There it is. There's your 68. Now Deacon, put in mathematics. Because they talked to, I'm using all the words from the article. There it is. Now put in math. Should be a 66. There it is. Now put in crack the code. There it is. Good night. I'm not finished, but it's 12 o'clock. I got to be up and be down the road. Listen, for everybody that look for us to deal with the Bible, the, the word of God and those things. The Lord's willing, I should be down the road tomorrow at 12 noon uncovering the truth of the Bible. This is our news segment. We're going to cover our Bible, um, our, our Bible side of warfare. Tomorrow at 12 noon, I'll be in Tidewater uh, on the radio. So if you can, listen live 12 noon. We're not, listen, when we go, everybody share this. Um, I'm going to figure yeah. out how to send Sister Yoshida her money. I'm going to be watching to see who's sharing, who's talking about it. We're going to bless somebody else. And for those that have not donated tonight, be a blessing. Don't rob us. Don't rob us. If you go to the movies, you pay. Them up. If you go to the man and wash your car, you give him something. If you go to the barbershop, you give him something. If you go to church, you give the church something. Damn I'm up. giving you information. We're giving you information. Go to Pastor Rob. Us. If you love this, this takes time. It takes research. It takes hours sometimes to put these numbers and everything together. Pastor Rob. Us. Deacon Jamal. As always, Good thank man. you, man. Appreciate you. Hey, man. Appreciate um, you too, bro. Thank you, Sister Rhonda. Appreciate you watching. I'm asking everybody to share. Please share. Talk about this tomorrow. Share again. This should have. There's no reason why we shouldn't have 2,000 views by the time I wake up to go use the restroom in the middle of the night. I love everybody. I appreciate everybody. Those who donate, y'all mean the word. I just appreciate y'all. Um, you got anything you want to say, Deacon? No, oh, that's it. That's it. Hey, Super Bowl Sunday, come out to the Word Church. We're not going to have y'all in there long because I know y'all got to leave. So y'all can go <laughs> buy your booze and buy all the stuff to keep you drunk while you're watching a game that's already fake. So oh, we're going to get you out of church. We're going to get you out of church in a timely fashion, not just for the game, but because that's something we're going to do this week and we've done what we're trying to do anyhow. So come out and meet us. Come out. Hey, Sis TT, love you too. Come out and meet us Sunday at the World Church. Deacon Jamal and myself, we get down with the Bible the same way. The same way, you see, we expose the lies of politics. We expose the lies that's being told in the church the same way. And you can ask live questions. The address to the church, somebody put that down. And then tomorrow night, I'll be in the Tidewater area at the, uh, the oh, Lord, Spring the Spring Hill Marriott, the Spring Hill Marriott, right off of Mercury Boulevard on Power Plant Parkway. I'll be there tomorrow night teaching a Bible class at 7.30. We on the road, y'all. We on the road. So again, meet us in Richmond. Yeah. Travis Dickerson says there's been 26 calls blown Hello. during the playoff. Oh my gosh. Is that true? Show just gave us the address. Thank you, Show, Brother Show. Brother Show, thank you. Our newest member of Warfare. 
the TV series, the web series. Thank you, Sister Sherry. Right. Right. It's 12 noon. Come out and meet us. We just want to love on you and show you church like you've never seen it before. Digga, what you looking at? You like you up to something. Uh -huh. Oh, I thought you was looking at something like you was about to come with something else. Oh, no, no, man. No, man. I'm a, I don't got addicted to online shopping, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, get off Gucci. Get off the Gucci site. I'm going to let you go to bed. Okay. And, um, <laughs> hey, listen. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Please share this. I'll be up for a little while sharing it. Talk about it. Let everybody know that this is the thing to watch. Good night. Deacon Jamal, anything else? No, that's pretty much it. Hey, see y'all Sunday. You see all those people talking about we lit? Pardon my English, but they be at the Word Church on Sunday. Now we waiting oh. on you. All right. See y'all later.